What's going on, everybody? DJ Mind here. Hope you're having a great day. Now, listen, I'm not having the best day ever when it comes to crypto mining. GPU mining for me in my situation of 15 cents is not profitable. Not only is it not profitable, I would actually be losing a significant amount of money. So we'll talk about that for sure. We'll go over all the prices real quick. If you like this video, please do like it. Consider subscribing. We actually just broke 10,000 subscribers. Woo! Shout out to all of you. I really do appreciate you. And just in case you have a better electric rate than me and you can still crypto mine, please do check out fluxpools.net the website is fluxpools.net so over at fluxpools they actually have a weekly flux lottery and so this replaces the 1k a month right before they were giving out one thousand dollars but now they decide to break it down for more miners so that more people could win flux five miners each week will win fifty dollars in flux but you do have to have a 95 percent uptime required this will be running for 12 months there is zero percent fees and also zero percent fees on the parallel app assets until October 5th. The uptime loyalty program is forever. There will also be a weekly loyalty for those that have 97% uptime and up. Amount is based on hash with max at four flux per one kilosol. There will also be a bi-weekly loyalty for those that can keep a 99.5% uptime and that starts very soon. The amount is to be determined. So let's start off by looking at the 3070. Now, this is a GPU that I have always tried to get because I was planning for the bear market, which is what we're in now. I was planning for the post Ethereum merge, and I thought that maybe I'd be okay, but guess what? Right now, we are not okay by any means. So right here, you'll see 15 cents kilowatt. And I do wanna say, especially if you're new to mining, what to mine right now is going to be all over the place i'm not saying this is the greatest thing ever to use but let's just use it because that's really all we know let's go ahead and hit calculate and let this refresh one more time so let's look at the best situation something called grin ct32 i'd never even heard of that but that would be my best option at my electric rate i would be losing 28 cents just for 130 70 man can you imagine how much money i would lose i have almost 200 gpus next up is sarah which is minus 32 cents I've actually talked about that one before. Some of these little coins I'm starting to look at. Next, of course, we have Nice Hash. Wow, Nice Hash, Zell Hash. Then we have Xano, Ryo. I think it's Ryo. Let me know if that's different. And then Flux right here, which is my favorite. But oh man, minus 36 cents at 15 cent kilowatt. And the rest here, you can see just deeper and deeper hole. If we were to mine Neoxa, I'd be losing 41 cents for every GPU. And that's the most efficient ones. Imagine if I did this with my 3090, Ravencoin would be losing 42 cents. Beam would be losing 42 cents as well. Ethereum Classic here in the green, negative 33 cents. I would avoid Ethereum Classic at all cost if you possibly could. That is ASIC RAN. Really, all of these ETH W, these ETH forks in general are probably going to be ASIC RAN. And that's what a lot of people are going to be moving to. So be careful. Firo minus 41 cents. My goodness. And Ergo, Ergo is getting a massive jump, which we'll get into in just a minute. And that's minus 37 cents. So yeah, you can see it is rough right now for 15 cents kilowatt. All right, so now we're gonna look at Ethereum Classic at the making this video. It is now September 18th, and this is at 7 p.m. at night EST. So it might be a little bit different by the time you see this in the morning. I can't imagine it being that much different, but hopefully it gets better. Ethereum Classic 200 terahash. My goodness, man, that has really shot up. If you look before the Ethereum merge, we were just in the 50s. If you look a week before that, roughly in the 40s. So yeah, wow, at one point it was three. 107 to 310 terahash that is absolutely insane so yes i would avoid this one at all cost and if we look at the difficulty it's pretty much the same story on ethereum classic 2.68 petahash it was over three well over three petahash at one point hopefully this improves i don't think this will improve for this particular coin simply because of all those asics now if we look at ergo and if you're ever curious what these prices are of these coins it's right here at the very top where my mouse is ergo is just at three dollars and 27 cents that really has a lot to do with it as well and there's a lot of different reasons for this i think of the economy going on with the cpi data what's going on in the stock world the markets in general is really affecting the crypto world so i wouldn't freak out too much i don't think it's because of crypto crashing or anything like that it's really what's going on in all the markets at the exact same time prior to the ethereum merge we were our 25s maybe even 30s on the terahash and then oh my goodness man we went up to 350 think about that from 30 to 350 terahash everybody and their mother went on to ergo i was actually mining before that on ergo and then now we've kind of we've kind of stabled out to some extent which is about 80 
for TerraHash. A lot of people are turning off and this is good if you do want to crypto mine. I think just at this moment, it's not that great. And if we look at the Ergo difficulty, I mean, it has just Hadoukened. Hadouken! from three petahash all the way up to 21.67 petahash i mean yeah oh goodness good luck on ergo uh, good luck to all of you who are mining ergo next up we're going to look at flux which is a personal favorite of mine you all know that under a dollar now at 96 cents decent buying opportunity if you are looking to purchase the coin minus 11.65 percent that hurts man that definitely hurts but Flux hasn't been quite as bad, especially on the yield compared to a lot of these other coins or Ergo. You know, I went from, I don't know, I think 11 Ergo a day or six Ergo a day, really depended on the day before the merge to now like 0.5 Ergo. Think about that. I mean, we're talking multiple giga hash getting less than one Ergo a day. So it's been really rough, but Flux, you're still yielding okay, right? I would, I would still think that buying the coin would get you a lot more Flux than mining at this current moment. Prior to the Ethereum merge, we were under three mega souls, so somewhere between two and three mega souls, and now we're up to eight. And at one point, we were almost at 10 mega souls, but that's only a 3x compared to like Ergo that I showed you or Ethereum Classic, where it was up to 10 times uh, more people on the network. So that's something you should consider. Looking at the difficulty here, kind of the same story. We're currently at 127. I don't know what K is. I'm guessing killer souls correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section below F feel free i don't mind at all looking at a fan favorite neoxa this one has really taken a major hit pretty much in every way that you can think of in the last 24 hours we're down 26 percent. that really hurts much less than a penny in fact it looks like it's about half of a penny and it's crazy to think because we were at three pennies not too long ago and holding two pennies for quite some time so yeah huge huge decrease in the price of this the terra hash the network difficulty and the hash rate has definitely gone up a lot so prior to the merge we were around one terra hash and the difficulty i'll show you here pretty much the same story very difficult and the fact that the price of these coins are coming down especially neoxa is not helping with profitability at all i also do want to mention ravencoin real quick you can see it is down 14 percent, so we're just up to four pennies which actually isn't as bad as before the merge i want to say leading up to the merger just before that moment we were hovering around two cents so we still have doubled that if you've been holding for a little bit but yes if you are mining it it's down 14 percent just on the coin and you can see prior to ethereum merger around that four terash three terash now we're at 18 terahash that one definitely hurts a lot of people have been talking about beam lately which is something that i have looked into but yeah it kind of fizzled out as you can see down about eight percent in the last 24 hours that's almost 20 cents so you know not the greatest opportunity but also not the worst hit coin either Man, those numbers are quite depressing. It sucks, man. It sucks right now to be a GPU miner at this current moment because everything I own is turned off. The only things that I have that are not turned off are my two Doge miners. And I probably have like three rigs at other people's houses, which are getting hosted. So I can't really cancel on them. Those are actually all on Ergo. I would love to swap them over to Flux, but they've actually requested that I keep it on Ethereum or Ergo or something like that. They don't really want to run Flux on them. So I can't really pull out on my contract. It's more of like a handshake than a contract with a lot of these people, but I totally understand. They don't really want me to run Raven or, or Flux or something that uses a lot more wattage. Totally understandable. But yeah, just the two Doge miners. And also something that I've been looking into to you guys if you didn't know not sponsored not affiliated in any way but on our last viewer call in on this last friday we started a friday show if you didn't know that raptorium called in actually and they talked to us for like 30 minutes and i'm starting to look at cpu mining and it actually sounded pretty interesting so i do plan on turning on one rig for that maybe potentially two but certainly i am doing a lot of lottery plays now i'm not suggesting you do that that's totally up to you i have been looking at like a lot of shit coins coins that that are pretty much like under a penny you know coins that are just one gpu gets you hundreds if not thousands of coins i probably will announce those at a later time but if i start to announce them now honestly man like there's gonna be a lot of people that probably lose a lot of money on that and it's very risky and i don't want to hurt my credibility you know recommending a bunch of shit coins to people i don't i wouldn't really feel comfortable with that so right now i am working on raptorium for that cpu miner which I, i'm about to build probably tonight it really depends on what i'm doing and then also i've got three rigs on some quote unquote shit coins so let me know if you have any shit coins that you've been working on and i've only been throwing like a single 3070 on those to be clear so i am playing around with it and i'll continue to play around with some of these smaller cap coins 
Also, let me know what you think of the new studio. This is not in any way, shape, or form complete. I actually got rid of the desk. If you remember this humongous desk, I actually need to fill a couple spots in, repair some drywall, paint this place. I want to get a bunch of things on the walls, get some more lighting, change up a few things, but this is just the beginning. This is my new camera. I'll show you what my old camera used to look like. This is my old camera that I've been filming pretty much most of my videos on. It's just a shitty webcam, and of course, the lighting's a little weird, but this is what it would have looked like and just to show you one more time this is the newer camera that i've been using this is the sony a6000 i don't have a link for that or anything i don't i don't care if you buy it or not i just want to let you know and ask you what you thought of the new production value look there's no sugar coating it right now guys crypto mining is extremely difficult i think i'm just gonna stay offline except for some of these lottery plays that i don't mind spending you know 130 somewhere between 120 130 watts per rig or per gpu just playing around with some of these smaller cap coins as lottery plays but I don't think that unless things change on a lot of these bigger coins, like your Ergos, like your Flux, like these others, I think what I'll end up doing instead of spending all that money on electricity and not really even breaking even, I'll probably take that thousand or thousand five hundred dollars and start dollar cost averaging into a lot of these coins. I already have been doing that with Cadena actually. So I'll probably spend like another 500 on Cadena. I think I'll probably throw maybe 250 at Ergo and I'll throw another 250 at Flux. So that's kind of the plan. Maybe I'll spend a little bit more, a little bit less, but that's my personal plan because the goal at the end of the day for me is to get a bunch of coin, not necessarily just have rigs on, just to have rigs on. Whatever you do decide, I totally respect it. Please do check out the links in the description. Join the Discord. Check us out on Twitter. I'm trying to make at least five videos every single week. I love every single one of you. Oh, and if you made it to this part of the video, hashtag vape, V-A-P-E, hashtag vape. Love you guys. Peace.